a blessed good morning it is a saturday again um basically a week and a little bit can't find that for even entertain picking up the phone and talking to it like a crazy person and it's making a video <laughs> but yeah it's a long weekend i've been looking forward to it i wanted to get all that i needed done throughout the week but that didn't happen so i'm getting an early start on it so maybe i can enjoy the sunday and monday with doing nothing so hopefully i can get everything crammed in today saturday my hair though i don't know about when i'm gonna wash that yet but at the moment i am doing laundry i'm about to drink some tea so my second load is in the washer and my first load is drying and I'm gonna try and put away the clothes right away. Laundry, I tell you, like growing up, I used to have to wash with my hands and it was the worst thing ever. I mean, it, it wasn't the worst thing ever, but it was annoying to be sitting there washing with your hands, you know, and then your hands are all dried and crackled. But it teach me, it teaches me. I wouldn't change how I grew up. But yeah, I used to wash with my hands and I used to wash my uniforms and my clothes. And I was a very particular kind of person because even like my white shirt, I would have to um, cake soap it and then put it in a clear plastic bag and put it up on the zinc fence for sun so they could get whiter yeah my mom used to get intense i used to go in but then i realized with washing with my hand and because i wanted it to be extra clean i had a bump that grew up here and since i stopped you know and it went away so I I knew it was you know washing because you're like <laughs> but yes humble beginnings you know you have to remember where you come from and it teaches us you know it really does like I don't think kids these days children these days are living any well they're living their kind of life but how i grew up it was fun you know we used to play dandy shandy light used to go out the water used to go out and i grew up in jamaica by the way if you didn't know so when the light used to go out especially at in the late evenings we will all gather outside and watch the night the late the, the, the evening sky you know before the sun went down we used to watch the evening sky and watch how the clouds change and shift and what do we see in the clouds. Sometimes we saw angels, sometimes we saw dinosaurs, and then the stars, you know, it was, it was a magical time. And to just sit there and enjoy each other's company and talk, you know, those times are like priceless because these days, <sighs> anyways. So yeah, humble beginnings. I am about to clean up this patio area. And uh, now first I'm gonna repot these, well, plant these two plants. And then I'm gonna straighten up and finish up my brother's hair. We washed it last night. So I'm gonna braid it up, plant it up today. But yeah, it's very messy over here. And I wanna clean it up and I'm having a little gathering this evening just families uh basically we're having um some we're gonna eat so we're, i'm gonna do some food and uh, we're gonna do facials so yeah looking forward to that this evening i have a very busy day I, I doubt if i'm gonna get everything done and i also have something to work on an interview to work on a questionnaire so yeah Let's do this. So this is what this area is looking like. You know, very messy, messy, messy. So I need to clean up.
I like blooms, yes, but I don't go for blooms. I more go for a beautiful foliage, like the leaves tell a story. They're very colorful. If you look at my plants, mostly the leaves are the showpiece. Look how beautiful it is underneath. And then look at the leaves. How many different colors and so forth. That's what I look for mostly. I also picked up some orchid which I planted already. Oh, I need to get some. I planted one. I ran out of something for the other one. So I have to how pretty is that? Look at the pot. Yes. Uh, one down, one more to go.
I'm gonna go charge the phone, but I have everything set up. I'm gonna season them, let them soak a little bit, start roasting these, and yeah. So I am finally finished cooking my mushroom burger and some roast corn. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy din din. What? 
so we're gonna get ready sunday morning and we're still doing laundry mm -hmm. <laughs> and watching youtube i offer a free guided yoga class every sunday morning at night and for some reason i came out this morning to water the plants and decided to wet up the floor that i'm like but is it going to be dry before nine? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, gotta do it what we got. So I cleaned up that area. It was very messy. The dirt used to be there. Now I just put a table with a lamp and I think I wanna get a big bin to store all the dirt and the mulch and those kind of stuff because they do get pretty messy. So yeah. I moved around some plants. The fiddle fig used to be right here. So every time they come through the door, they bounce it and disturb it. So I decided to put her over in the corner and I move this hair. It used to be over there, but for yoga, I think it's gonna mess with my video, but we let it work. I also have my little stand here. This is new. It's supposed, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave it to be a bonsai, you know, kind of groom it to be that, but I just uh, planted some of these, they're the neon color, so hopefully they'll catch, and yeah. So I'm going to start setting up, lighting my incense, putting on my music, and getting ready for movement of the body. Yoga was amazing. As you can see, I am sweating. Yes, yeah, sweat is dripping off the body, which is good because I'm not a sweater like that. I don't perspire that much. So this is the time I get to release a little, you know? And it was very, it's very good. I really went inward and just connect 
even though I was guiding a class. <laughs> so it's good to kind of, you know, zoom in towards yourself, even when you're guiding others and they are supposed to show up and hold space and zoom into themselves, you know. This is how healing takes place. You can't heal for someone else. You can't change for someone else. That person has to want to make those changes and hence put in the work. But a lot of people, they don't want to put in work, you know. They want the easy way out. But there is no easy way out. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm drinking some water now, replenishing.